Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of VizRT Tuesday Tutorials. My name is Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now today I'd like to show you how to use the input setup menu which simplifies the process of bringing in video sources into your TriCaster productions. A new and quick way of routing inputs. So let me show you how it's done, son! All right, all right, all right. So I'm on my TriCaster Vision interface, and what I want to show you is, you know, how to bring in different inputs into your system, because as you can see, I have my inputs one through eight here, and I don't have anything in them. So let's fix that. Okay, so to do that, uh, normally what you would end up doing is you could go to the input itself, click on this gear icon, and then we can say, all right, let's go through and select a source from this drop-down list, like this, for example. Hey, congratulations, we did it, woo! Okay, now that, that's one way to do it. Uh, and then if you wanted to fill in all these other ones, you basically have to go through here and hit that gear icon for each and every one of them. But with the TriCaster Vision, the new setup menu allows you to do this a lot faster. So check this out. So if you go to the top of the screen and click on Setup up here, on the input setup side of things, you'll see that I have my list from my inputs number one all the way down to 44. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now what that allows me to do is I can go through and select the different inputs I want directly from here. All right, so let me move this over a little bit just so we can see everything populate as I do it. So let's go to input number two here. Click on this and just select channel two. And I'll just go through each and every one of these, all right? So as you can see, a lot faster way for you to bring in your different uh, sources into your TriCaster. And I love it. Yeah, it's doing all these one at a time. So that way you don't have to go through each individual one. Uh, you can just do it all right from this particular panel. All right, you got two more to go. I don't know why I decided to make eight of these, but I wanted to fill up my interface. Cool. All right. That one and my last one. Excellent. Boom. So now we have all of our inputs in here. All right. Now, this also allows you to do some customization as well. So, for example, on the buttons here, uh, you'll see that right now they're all just, you know, on the your program and preview row, those are just the numbers that you have. But I can go through here and say, all right, let's change that one to clap, because they're clapping. All right, and then now you can see over here on my interface program, input number one now says clap instead of number one, okay? Now, uh, along with that, you can go on the format side of things and change things as you need to. Now, I'm just using NDI sources, so auto-detect is pretty much going to be my only option. Uh, if I was bringing in, like, a hardware source coming from the, uh, the um, capture card on here, that would be different. Uh, but then if you need to do some additional editing in here, you could say, let's go to config, and I can say, let's zoom that shot in a little tighter here, like so. Do, do, do. Cool. Move it up. Bam. So that way you don't have to go through each individual input over on this side. You can do it all from this input configuration uh, tab on the setup side of things. So very cool. I think this makes things a lot easier uh, and uh, very powerful to play around with. So I uh, highly recommend checking this out. I mean, the TriCaster Vision, top of the line, top notch, best TriCaster ever, and highly recommend playing around with this. And of course, have some fun. All right, there you have it. Another convenient way for setting up your inputs in one spot via the awesome TriCaster Vision. Now, for more videos on all things VizRT, make sure that you subscribe to the VizRT YouTube channel at youtube.com slash VizRT official for more videos of the TriCaster Vision and more to come. And for formalized VizRT product training, make sure you sign up for Viz University, available at vizrt.com slash community slash viz dash university. And you can find even more information about VizRT products and services by contacting your local VizRT partner or visiting our website, vizrt.com. And as always, if you are posting your work using VizRT products on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags VizRT, TriCaster, or Vision. We love seeing all of your posts. Keep up the good work. 
Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of VizRT Tuesday Tutorials.